the day of resurrection, earth tell it out abroad, the Passover of gladness, the Passover of God. Let all things seen and unseen their notes together blend, for Christ the Lord is risen, our joy has hath no end. Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Wednesday, April the 23rd. <clears throat> it's Easter Wednesday, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 97, and Matthew chapter 28, verse 1 to 16. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, God, most high reigns, let earth rejoice, and let the islands be glad. Hallelujah. Psalm 97. Hallelujah, God, most high reigns, let earth rejoice, let the islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about you, righteousness and judgment, the foundations of your throne. A fire goes before you and burns up the enemies round about. Your lightnings light up the world, and the earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at your presence, at the presence of the God of all the earth. The heavens declare your righteousness, and all the peoples see your glory. Confounded are they that serve carved images, that delight in idols. Worship God, all you gods. Zion heard and was glad. Judah, uh, the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of your judgments. For you are high above the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. All that love you hate evil. You preserve the souls of the saints and you deliver them from the hands of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright of heart. Rejoice in God most high, all righteous people. Give thanks for God's holiness. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God most high reigns. Let earth rejoice and let the islands be glad. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 28, beginning at verse 1. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb, and suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Most High descended from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has been raised from the dead. And indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee, and there you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly, filled with fear and great joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings, and they came back to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. And then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee and there they will see me. Now while they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests everything that had happened. After the priests had assembled with the elders, they devised a plan to give a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, you must say, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we were asleep. If this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed, and this story is still told among the Jews to this day. And the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain, 
to which Jesus had directed them. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Defend us, O God, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. O merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning, for you are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O Most High God, for your righteousness and holiness. Lighten us and fill our hearts with gladness that we may ever serve you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Happy Easter.